since I left home I said good luck to every seed I'd sown Give it my best and then I left it alone So I took a step back, realized that I had people around me. I had family around me. I had friends around me. Sometimes they didn't know what to say to me, though, because how do you comfort somebody who's dealing with such a tragic death even a few years later? And it was very difficult because these kind of things, they come back and they creep up on you. But regardless of the pain, sunburn that I'm feeling on the back of my neck and the nausea that's overtaking me, I continue to run. Trying not to throw up, I work my way through the last kilometer. I'm almost done, almost to the finish line. I can see it but I'm gonna throw up. Wait, hold on a little bit further. Bringing my hand to my mouth to cover the fact that I'm going to be sick, I cross the finish line. Hear a familiar song playing on the radio. I breathe. In a dusty old memory I wasn't just lost Could have sworn my heart stood still From the truth That hung all afternoon As we started to explore and go down this path The very first time That I ever felt safe in the world oh, was this moment that I truly surrendered. I truly let go of needing to know what was going on, needing to protect every aspect of my life. And this happened through actual surrender. Whew. Okay, love, send me love. <laughs> let's, let's hear the love, thank you. <laughs> I was sitting in my living room having a business conversation with someone and based on that conversation a very interesting thing happened. Have you ever had that experience where suddenly you feel like you're above the conversation? You're still having the conversation but you're not listening or really participating anymore, kind of nodding. I remember I was sitting in the chair and I could look out my window at the snow and what was happening and this internal dialogue started happening and it was like Karen, you've lost you. This is our speakers for the night. Aren't they awesome? Bring it in close, James.